Hi, this is Dawn Hartman from St. Paul's Charitable Giving Department. And today I'm going to walk you through how to set up a Facebook fundraiser for Giving Tuesday. So the first thing you need to do is open your internet browser, whatever it is that uh, you like to use, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever browser that you use. And then you are going to go to Facebook.com. Now, once you get onto uh, Facebook.com, if you are already logged into your Facebook page, uh, it's going to look a little something like this. I created a demo account just for this video. So you'll see that I'm already logged in. It's called Dawn Demo. So if you're already logged in, um, it's going to look like this. If you aren't, it's going to ask you to enter your username and your passwords. You're going to need to log in first. Once you are logged in, you're going to go to St. Paul's Facebook page. So you want to type in this search bar here, St. Paul's Senior Living Community and hit enter. Then it should be the first thing that comes up in the search over here on the right hand side. Um, you'll know that this is the correct page. If you can see St. Paul's logo inside the little profile picture there um, with the navy blue background and um, this is St. Paul's page. So you're going to want to click on this and go. Now you'll be at St. Paul's Facebook page. If you are not already following St. Paul's on Facebook, this would be a great time to do that while you're on our page. All you would need to do, um, you're going to see a button here that says like. So to follow it, you're just going to click this and then you'll see that it says liked. So that shows that you're now following St. Paul's Facebook page and you'll get to see the updates photos and videos we share um, in your news, news feeds. So now to start a Facebook fundraiser for Giving Tuesday to share with your friends and your family on your own personal Facebook page, this is what you need to do. You're going to click the more button and it'll bring up some other options here for you. You want to click fundraisers. This is going to show you now, if you scroll down on the left hand side, you're going to see current fundraisers that people have set up that are going on right now for St. Paul's. So the first one here is um, Kelly set up a birthday fundraiser to benefit St. Paul's. Um, and that's just in celebration of her birthday this year, she decided to ask her friends and family to make a gift to St. Paul's, which is so incredibly generous um, and awesome of her. So her fundraiser is going on right now. You can also see that I set up my own personal Giving Tuesday fundraiser as well. So you'll see that that's happening right now. And then if you keep scrolling down, you'll see past fundraisers that are already over. So you'll see if they say ended, these are just fundraisers that have happened in the past that are now over. So to start your personal Facebook fundraiser, you're going to go over here where it says create a fundraiser and you want to click raise money. And this is going to bring you up to the screen where you actually go through the steps to create the fundraiser. So under details over here on the left hand side, you should see your name. Mine says Dawn Demo because it's my demo account. And then it will already have filled in that this is a fundraiser for St. Paul's Senior Living Community. So you don't have to change anything there. The next field is where you set your goal. So how much money do you hope to raise? The default starts at $200, but you can make that any value that you want that to be. So I'm going to just go ahead and change that to 500. We're hoping to raise 500 with this fundraiser. Uh, the next field is already default set to US dollars for your currency. So you just leave that alone. 
The next field is when do you want your fundraiser to end? So Facebook will automatically um, end it. You don't have to go back in and change anything. It'll on that day, it'll just be done. And then it will transfer those funds directly to St. Paul's. So I'm going to ask you to change this date. It, it usually sets a um, default for about a week. We're going to go ahead and change it to the day after Giving Tuesday. So Giving Tuesday happens on December 1st. So we're going to have it end the day after in case you have any late givers that would like to contribute. So when you click that, the calendar will come up. Just go ahead and click on December 2nd to change that end date. Now, if you keep scrolling down, um, you'll see that it gave you a default name for your fundraiser. It, it'll have your first name there, and then it just says Fundraiser for St. Paul's Senior Living Community. I'm going to ask you to change this to Giving Tuesday so we know that this is a fundraiser that you're doing for Giving Tuesday. The next field uh, also populates on its own. So this is why, your reason why you are raising money for St. Paul's. And it just, Facebook kind of pulls some information from St. Paul's Facebook page to create the section. You can personalize this however you would like to. You could leave it alone with how Facebook has it set up, or I would encourage you, if you have a personal connection to St. Paul's, this is a great place to say that. You know, if you're a resident, you have a loved one that lives here, you're a staff member, this is where you would put your, your personal reason why it is important to you to that your friends and family would make a gift to St. Paul's. The last field on here uh, is also populating on its own. It, it put a photo on your fundraiser. And this photo is from St. Paul's Facebook page. Just grabs whatever the cover photo is on there. So you could leave that alone if you wanted, or if you have a personal photo you'd like to put up there instead, you could do that also. To do that, you just click this button that has the plus sign and it'll let you upload your photo. So once you're done with that, you're going to click this button that says create. And I'm not actually going to click that because I don't I don't want to create this fake fundraiser right now um, from this demo account. But uh, there's a couple other things I want to show you. So I'm going to go into the fundraiser that I already created for Giving Tuesday and show you once you create your fundraiser, um, some of the things that you can do. So once you hit create, um, it's going to ask you if you want to invite any of your friends. And that just means that Facebook will send them a personal invitation, letting them know about your fundraiser and asking them um, if they'd like to join in. So you can go through that list of your friends and you could put a checkbox next to anyone that you would like to receive an invitation to that fundraiser. Uh, then once you get past that screen, you're going to actually see this screen, which is summarizing your fundraiser. So this is the one I made for Giving Tuesday. Yours is going to look like this as well. You'll see a donate button here. That's where people will be able to click to contribute to your fundraiser. Or if you want to make a personal gift, you could also do that. There will be a share button. This is good to be able to share updates on your news feed. So when you initially post this, people will see that you're doing it, but it's always good to share it to your page again and maybe give an update, like only a couple more days left to donate for Giving Tuesday to St. Paul's, or I've almost met my goal. Can, can somebody help me raise the last $100, whatever your update might be. So you would just click share and this is says it's going to share it on your timeline on your Facebook page and the, of course your name will be here below. This is the audience that your post will be can be seen by. I usually leave it at friends. So just my Facebook friends are seeing that. But if you would like to make it public, you could you just click on that 
and say anybody that comes to my page could see this post. Then you would type your update in here, only a couple more days to give, or whatever you want that to be. Uh, it's our automatically attaching your fundraiser on that post already. And then you would just click post to share that to, to your timeline. Some other things you can see on this page is your goal. So you'll get a progress bar here showing how close you are to the goal that you set. You'll be able to see over here under fundraiser progress who all you invited, the number of people you invited to participate in your fundraiser. And you can see the number of people that donated. If you scroll, keep scrolling down, uh, you'll be able to see the activity that is going on on your fundraiser. So because I'm logged in on uh, the demo account and not on my own personal account, I can't see as much as I normally would be able to see here. But if you are looking at your own fundraiser, you will be able to see who donated, how much they donated, and then you also have a button here where you can thank them, you can comment on their donation, you can like their donation, there'll be different options there. So you'll be able to follow who all has given and then be able to thank those folks. So that is kind of a summary in a nutshell of how to set up a Giving Tuesday fundraiser. It's, it's pretty simple. I think that you'll be able to do it. If you have any questions, please do reach out to myself or Teresa in the St. Paul's Charitable Giving Office. And thank you for listening today. And thank you so much for being supporters and friends to St. Paul's.